Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today, well, kind of today and some other days, we're redoing my little work area down here in my work room. Uh, you can just take a quick look around, see there's a bunch of stuff. It's just a little uh, little room off of the basement that I used uh, for doing little projects. My bench was getting totally overwhelmed with everything just being put on it. It's my custom 2x4 bench, 39 inches off the ground. Um, I'll try and put a before picture here, uh, somewhere over here in the corner or maybe side by side, uh, if I figure out how to do that. Um, all this was white, um, which actually made the room a lot brighter. The, this color really, you know, sucks it in. Uh, these are the other two colors I really wanted to go with. You can see what they are there. I really like this color, and I'll, I'll tell you why. But we had uh, Shark Fin by Bear from like two years ago. So I only had a little bit to do, so I threw it up and did it. Uh, anyway, what I've done so far is I've added uh, outlets down there. Uh, I hung my monitor for my computer. And yeah, so what are we going to be doing here? Well, <clears throat> the plan... Oh boy. The plan is to put up, not pegboard, uh, put up what is called multi-board. So let me uh, come in here and do wide angle again. Show you, this is multi-board. It's a 3D printed uh, pegboard system basically with a ton of uh, things you can put on here. Hooks, shelves, bolts, and it gets mounted right to the wall. Now let me hit the pause button. Boom, we're back. So anyway, uh, I just got the tripod. So this is called multi-board, uh, like I was saying. And you can print it out in all different sizes. This is an 8x8. This is a 4x4. And the idea is we're going to fill this entire space with it. So this goes up. Uh, these are called core tiles. No, this is the corner tile. So it doesn't have any of these. These will be the core tiles. And they just sit in there like that and there's some offsets to pull this away from the wall a little bit uh, that I'll be using but the plan is to do my entire room with that now, well my wall so this wall all the way over to this wall all right it's gonna be all multi-board um, but here's the thing this took 12 hours to print uh, I'm using an Ender 3 Pro, so it's a slow printer. Uh, if I had a different printer, it might take six hours. It might take four, eight, all different. So uh, here's a video of my printer at work printing this. All right, now. I, uh, I subscribed to multi-board because I think it's a pretty cool idea and uh, you get a few more features. You can get this all for free if you really wanted it to go uh, design by design, file by file to figure out what you need and go from there. But I want to be able to create my own um, grids here, like maybe cut out a hole in the middle for when I get over here to the socket uh, for the light switch over there. So, I need to print a lot of these. I mean, you can see it's gonna, this is 71 and a half inches. The biggest I can print is 208 by 208 millimeters. Yeah, 208 by 208 millimeters. So, that works out to a lot. I haven't figured it out yet. So, that's what we're gonna be doing next. So, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna snap our fingers and the 3d printer is going to magically appear ta-da here it is uh here's my ender 3 pro I, i've done a few upgrades to it uh um i put a glass bed on eh, not really uh thrilled with it it's very hard to get off the old magnetic bed was far easier if, if something was sticking you just take off the bed and peel it off this you know i gotta use sometimes those to get it off and I, i've done I, I have gouged it up in a few places 
Uh, right now I'm just using some isopropyl 91 and I'm cleaning the heck out of the bed here as much as I can get off any grease <clears throat> and all that. Uh, what else have I done? I, I added a, oh yeah, let's turn that on. Where is that? I just forgot. Well, oh, you got to turn on the power. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh, I put on a little LED light on it. Um, and yeah, I put on another, uh, I don't know, another screw on that side to kind of keep it balanced. I put in a, a leveling, it's called a B, uh, CR touch, uh, different tubing, different extruder. So I've done a bunch of work. I did upgrade to the latest board, so it's far quieter, and I mean far quieter. Uh, it's like no, no, uh, no comparison. Anyway, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put in the card. And we're going to get printing our core tiles. No, yes, our core tiles, which don't look like this. They have little edges. It's going to look like that all the way around. There we go. It's going to have all these little things popping out. And we're going to print it because we're a subscriber. We're able to download the four stack. So I'm going to print a stack of four of these big tiles in one shot and then they just pull apart. Um, how long is that going to take? <laughs> On this guy, it's going to take two days, eight hours, and 47 minutes. So, I think it's time to get started. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level this bed out just a little bit. But what I am going to do is I'm going to heat the bed and then I'm going to bring it up. And then I'll do a bed level and I'll bring it back for that. So let me hit the pause button here once it's all set. All right, uh, temperature, bed, I, I, 60 is where it prints. I go up to 80 when I want to level it. So, bing, bang, boom, info. So my bed is at 28, it's going up to 80. So when that comes back up, I'll show you my little process. All right, so it's taken us about so like four minutes, you know, maybe a little bit. Anyway, it's taken us a while to get up to 80 degrees on the bed temp that heats up our bed there. So now what I want to do is I want to level it. Now the whole idea of the CR Touch is to map your bed so you don't have to have a perfectly level bed. I like to level it. Um, myself as close as, as possible here. So let's level bed. And you're going to see, see I write down all the numbers and then I kind of determine where or what I need to do. So uh, watch this, fast forward up to you. Uh, while you are, take a minute to like uh, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Here we go. Our first one Oh shit, didn't mean to bump you there. And it was 5.7. Alright, second point. 5.65. So that's 0 0.05 difference. I guess I can look at that 573. 5.73. 5.73. I did adjust it, I'm not gonna lie. I give it a little spin, but it might not have been the best idea in the world. Right, 571. Five, 557. Yeah, so we got some work to do here. 559. Five, and. So with the bed heated up, I'll show you my numbers. These are my numbers right here. So uh, this is the first um, spot. It goes across this way and that way like a snake. So five seven five six five five seven three, pretty close. Um, so what I'm seeing is that this corner is low. So I want to get that number to come up. Me and myself a little cheap. I got to turn the 
the red wheel underneath. I got to turn it to the right, so I want it to come up. Uh, do like a, you know, I don't know, not even a quarter of a turn. Um, so that should bring that up. That's kind of high, as is this. So I want to bring this. Uh, sorry, this one down. So to go down, I'm going to turn this way. I'm just going to bump it just a little, ever so slightly. So that came up, that went down. I'm going to leave, let's see, this might, I might throw this off. So I'm just going to bump this down just, I mean, just, I just went like this. Maybe if I zoom out, it might be more helpful. Um, I just gave it a little, a little bit of a twist. And then my top one was 5'7", so I want that one to come down too. So, right, ever so slightly. So now that I did that, I'm going to rerun my level. That bet, that bet is warm. Motion. Level bed. And it's going to go through the whole process again. So I'm going to hit the pause here because the video is already 14 minutes. And I'll come back with the results when it's done. All right, so here's my uh, numbers after the adjustment. 568, it was 57. 56, it was 565. 568, so that came down nicely. 574, 573, it's high still. 558, 561, 569, so that came down. 558 went up a little. 559 unchanged, and 568 came down, which is what I wanted it to do just a little. So I still got to bring up this corner. So I'm going to bring that up again, again, so to go up, give it a little bit of a bump that way. That should bring us up. So that's going to bring up that corner. All right, which may throw off some other stuff, but we're going to leave it. It might have to come down, but we'll see. All right, so that's, that's the process. I just do this over and over until I get it. So let me pause and, and see where I'm at. All right, so I've leveled it a few more times, making finite adjustments with my little left and right on the uh, on the screws there. Um, you could see, I think this was yesterday here for that other print. Um, five, six, I was pretty, pretty good. Um, just, you know, I have a high spot over here in this right corner. Right, this right here is kind of a little bit of a high spot. It, it is what it is. Everything else is pretty close. Um, outside of this, I could probably drop this. If I drop this, it'll bring this down and raise that. Ah, oh, jeez, you know, you know I'm going to do it. And I got a little more space here. So, I want to... Raise this, drop that. Raise this, turn to the right, drop that corner, turn. This one's always hard to get, turn left. Whew. All right, this is it. I'm going with it after this. So stick by and watch if you want. This is the last leveling. And then when I go to print, it's going to re-level itself again so that it uh, it knows what it's doing. But here we go. All right, so we got five. So it does the initial. I really hope watching this is helpful to somebody. Uh, I don't think I was able to find something like this on the web before. All right, here we go. Probing point number one, five, six, two. Oh, that's different. See, every time you change five, five, nine, every time you change something, it affects everything. So at some point, you just got to call it and take your hands off and just let it do its thing. Seven, one, ooh, that's down. That's good. Five five nine. That's the same. At least we're a little bit closer. Point oh two. I know. Tell me I'm an idiot.
R5 set. See, no matter how much I turn that screw, it's not changing that. It is what it is. I should probably turn it even more. 561. And then. 565. Alright. This is where I'm ending. It's the bottom numbers here. Uh, uh, hopefully you can see that. I mean, these are all pretty close. These are all pretty close. It's this side that's high. Um, I can mess with these two screws if I needed to a little bit more. But we're just going to go for it. I, my bigger problem here is when I go to print this large core tile, which is what I'm going to do right now, um, the skirt actually goes over these metal clips and I got to find better clips. I know they're upside down, but it was the only way I can get them on. Um, it'd be nice if I could just find a corner clip. Oh, maybe make one. We'll see. But here we go. So, uh, configuration, print from media, two days, eight hours, 47 minutes, you can get started. All right, I'm going to hit the pause button here. I'll come back when it starts doing its thing. All right, it's heated up the extruder. We know the bed is hot. Um, it's going to do its bed level, and then it's going to get started. So, uh, hang a second. All right, so it did its uh, bed leveling before it goes to print. And it was pretty much the same numbers. Um, <clears throat> as, as my previous one. All right, here it goes. It's going to purge the first line. And then you'll get to see what I mean about how it hits these clips here. The bed was at 80. It's coming down to 60, which is where it prints. So I like to give a little wash here. A nice little uh, lines coming out. You'll be able to see it here in a second. And it's already going into, you can see what I mean, how it hits the clip. So it's only drawn when it draws the... Uh, not the skirt, whatever that is. The outline there. I mean, and it goes right up to the edge. It really does. Using every piece of this Ender 3 Pro uh, that I can. But you can see what I mean, like, now that it's up close. If I had a corner clip, I would be in much better shape. And maybe I can move these to the corner. I, I don't know. Alright, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to watch this uh, for the first, you know, layer maybe two and then go from there wait how long did i say that? this is two days so if this just started at 8 45 it's going to draw this a couple times all the way around two days eight hours so eight hours is going to put me like 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Yeah, that's usually when I get up. Alright. Um, watch if you want. I'll let it go. Maybe I'll put it into a little bit of a hyperlapse for you. All looking good, good so far. Oh. Well, that would not be good. I don't know if you saw You didn't see that, but the... Uh, The uh, PLA just almost fell off of the uh, top there. The Can't have that happening. I'm using Elego, Elego, Elego PLA for this. So now it's going to make me nervous that that almost fell off there. I was wrong. It draws three rows. There it goes. Now it's going to start the honeycomb. And that's the speed that the Ender 3 Pro is going to go. So, anyway, uh, hope that helped. Hope that enjoy, uh, hope that helped you a little bit. Um, watch the next video and see where it's at. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. It's pretty cool, though, isn't it? 
because eventually we're going to have a stack. Fingers crossed that this sticks. I am going to baby watch the first couple layers here. Anyway, thanks. Have a good one. I'm Doug, and I do stuff like this. Hey, uh, welcome to Doug Does Stuff from the Future. Um, in this video, at least, in the in the future. I'm going to do a whole video when this is all done, but I just came down to check on how the print's going. We're at a day uh, and eight hours, it looks like. We still have 24 hours to go uh, until this is done. And then that would be two days, eight hours, 47 minutes to make a stack of four tiles. Well, I just did some math in over here um, to figure out how many tiles I'm, I'm going to need. And it looks like I'm going to need yeah, 45 tiles in all. Well, if four tiles take, let's say, three days, uh, it's going to take me... I got to print this 11 times. It means this thing is going to be running for a month straight just to make the core tiles. Those, these things right here. Then I got to make the little pieces that go under there. And I got to make a, a uh, well, I have a corner tile, so I'm all set with that. Um, so yeah, uh, but this is how it's going so far. We are that far in. Uh, you can see my stack of tiles. I'm going to, when it comes apart, I'll give you a better look. This, and I'm looking, this is the one I printed the other day. And the layer lines, you can't see them. On there, I see a lot of layer lines. So, I'm going to have to see what I did differently and see how it comes out and see if that was a wasted uh, three days. But anyway, uh, yeah, we'll get to it when I'm done.